Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad. In this training video I would like to show you how to create a pivot table with a calculated field. In my original list I have a date column, a region, a sales rep name, a customer name, and I have cost of goods sold, and I have a sales amount. And what I would like to do is to summarize my profit for each month. First of all, I do not have a month column, and number two, I do not have a profit column. If I was in an older version of Excel, I would have created a helper column that extracts the month from the date column, and I'll be using the month function to do that. Also, I would have created a helper column to calculate the profit by subtracting the cost of goods sold from the sales. But let me show you how we are going to do that within the pivot table using the built-in functionality of Office 2016. First of all, it's always recommended to convert your source list into a table so whenever you add extra rows, they will be included in your summary table. And to do that, I would like to convert my source list into a table, and we do have many methods for doing this. The easiest one is to use the shortcut Control T, and then you hit Enter, and you would have converted your list into a table. The Design Contextual tab pops up into the top. I do not really need these filter buttons, so I'm going to take the check away. I do have my table right now, and I want to summarize it by using a pivot table. I can go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and click on the left side of the Insert tab, click on Pivot Table. The shortcut is Alt-NV. In this one-step wizard, I will have to decide where will be the destination of my pivot table. I want to insert it in a new worksheet, so I'll hit OK. And here I am in the new worksheet. I have my pivot table placeholder. I have my pivot table field list on the right side and two contextual tabs at the top. And because I'm using Office 2016, so when I drag the date field, not only I'm dropping it in the rows area and it creates a unique list of dates as it should be in all previous versions, but in this version of Excel, it groups the date into month. If you were in an older version of Excel, this is what you would get. And in this case, you would have to select one single value and then right click and select group. But because I'm in Office 2016, so the field is grouped automatically into years, quarters, and days. And what I'm going to do is to get rid of the years. I don't need that. I'll get rid of the quarters and dr I'll drag it out. And I'll keep only the date, which is in fact a list of the month of the year. The second thing I would like to do is to summarize my profit for each month. And since I do not have a profit column in the original list, I'm going to create that inside my pivot table. Back to my pivot table, and then I'll go to the Analyze tab of the ribbon, click on the down arrow of Fields, Items, and Sets, and from here I'll select Calculated Field. Any calculated field should have a name, so I'll be naming this one Profit, and I'll start creating my calculation. I could start typing the field names, but since I have the fields here, I'm going simply to double-click on Sales, and type a minus sign and double click on cost of goods sold and I hit OK and here is the new field that I created not only Excel creates it in the pivot table field list but it also adds it to the values area and it calculates the sum of profit and that's wonderful I have a new field which calculates the sum of profit what I would really want to do is to find the percentage of profit for each month the percentage of the total profit my total profit appears here in the grand total and what I would like to find out is how much each month represents as a fraction from the grand total and to do that I'll select any single cell in the newly added field right click and from the right click menu I'll select shows values as and from the sub menu I'll select percentage of column total percentage of column total and when I do that I find out that the month of January accounts for 13.32% of the grand total and so on and so on and I do have the final result that I wish and it will be a good practice to change the label instead of sum of profit because it's not a sum anymore and I'm going to type in this case let's say percentage profit thank you for watching and see you in our next training video